In this example, I've got a Zodiac FX with my Windows PC connected to the first OpenFlow port and the second OpenFlow port on the Zodiac FX connected to my local network. This non-OpenFlow port is also connected to the local network. So on the Zodiac FX, help shows me various options. And one of the commands I can use is show ports. So the show ports command shows me that port one is up, it's an open flow port. Port two is also up and is an open flow port. Port three on the switch is currently down and port four is a native port. In other words, this port, port four is used to connect to the controller using a traditional network and these three ports are running open flow but currently my PC is connected to one port and this port is connected to the rest of the network. This port is not connected currently. So to make this work, I've got my local ethernet connection connected to the Zodiac FX on port one and it's configured with a default gateway. My wireless network is connected to the same network, but what I'll do is remove the default gateway to prove that I can't get to the internet. My HPE controller is running locally in VirtualBox. And I've bridged the VM to my wireless network adapter. So my wireless interface is running traditional networking, whereas my physical ethernet interface is running OpenFlow. In other words, it's connected to an OpenFlow network. So in Windows, I should be able to ping the controller, which has this IP address, and I'm able to do that. I'm also able to connect to the controller and I can refresh the list of OpenFlow switches connected. In this example, my Zodiac FX is connected and a flow has been written to the Zodiac FX. So this traffic is going through the wireless network, but as an example, I won't be able to ping google.com because my default gateway is only configured on my wired connection. And at the moment, the OpenFlow network only has a single open flow rule sending all traffic to the controller. A Zodiac FX is a pure open flow switch. So if I type open flow, help to see options, I can see that this option show flows shows me that single flow on the Zodiac FX sending all traffic to the controller. You have to manually configure the flow of traffic. So at the moment, port one is where my PC is connected and port two connects me to the rest of the network. As you can see, ethernet two is down. So I need to write a flow entry to allow my PC to send traffic from port one to port two on the switch. So once again, I'm not able to ping google.com because that traffic is being sent through my wired network connection on my PC and this connection is connected to the Zodiac FX on port one, but there are no flow rules telling the switch what to do with that traffic. So on my controller, I'm gonna to go to Flowmaker Deluxe, and I'm gonna add a flow entry to table zero, saying that all traffic coming in on port one should be sent, I'll just scroll up here, should be sent to port two and I'll add that flow entry. So as you can see, the flow entry has been written. And if I refresh that, I get some hits on the packets. I'm still not able to ping google.com because I need to add a return path. So what I'm gonna do is say, any traffic coming in on port two should be sent to port one, and I'll add that flow entry. So now I have the two flow entries, and I'm getting hits on both those flow entries. So essentially all traffic coming in on port one should go out of port two, and all traffic coming in on port two should go out of port one. So now if I ping google.com, notice I'm able to do that. If I ping cisco.com as an example, I'm able to do that. 
So that traffic is being sent through based on these flow entries. Once again, going to OpenFlow Monitor, looking at ports, we've created a flow entry saying that traffic coming in on port one should go out of port two. There are flow entries and we're gonna get hits on those flow entries as I send traffic through the network. So let's do a continuous ping to google.com. So that ping is succeeding at the moment. What I wanna show you now is the effect of adding a flow entry to different tables and seeing how that affects the flow of traffic. As an example, I'll write a flow entry to table zero firstly with a priority of let's say 20,000 saying that all traffic coming in on port one should be dropped. So the apply action is gonna be no action and I'm gonna click add. Notice now that my pings start timing out to google.com. And that's because we've written a flow entry to table zero, which is the first table in the pipeline with a higher priority matching traffic coming in on port one and then dumping the traffic. So these three flow entries are not looked at in table zero because they've got a match on a higher priority entry which is then dumping the traffic. If I delete that flow entry, we should see that our pings start succeeding and there you go. The pings are succeeding to google.com. So what happens when we write flow entries to table numbers like one, two, three, and four? Thank you.